YouTube, so I'm here for three reasons. I'm so happy right now. I am two and a half years natural today. Today is September the 11th, 2013. And I am two and a half years natural. Yay. So that's the first thing. Um, I'm not, I don't think I'll do a length check because my hair is still in, um, my loose twists, that's the second thing. My hair is still in loose twists and we are starting week three of my hair being in loose twists. So I am here to show you, as you can see, it still looks pretty good. Okay, so that's one side. That's the other side, and obviously the front. So, so yeah, that's my hair after two weeks, going into the third week. And so obviously what I'm doing is every week, um, I do a full moisturizing. Um, third thing is thank you so much to my new subscribers. I'm so happy to have finally reached over a hundred subscribers thank you for choosing to support me and i will definitely support you back i'm all about supporting um everyone on their new journey um oh also just to update you on my edges they seem to be growing which is also good news um it's not a big change but i can see difference you can see that i have hair growing in don't know if you can see that and the same on this side so I'm being very vigilant on making sure that I keep that area of my hair moisturized and seal it in literally at least once a day but once or twice a day so that's it anyway um, what I'm gonna do now is moisturize my hair and I'm gonna show you the greenhouse effects method my version of it anyway what i do to um on a weekly basis i do practice that method um so yeah let's go right in here we go so the first thing i'm going to do is um spritz my hair saturate my hair actually with water you can use plain water or you can go ahead and mix it with a conditioner in my case i've used about a tablespoon of hello hydration conditioner it's not a leave-in, but I use it as a leave-in anyway, along with my Tresemme Naturals. Um, the next thing I am doing is oiling my scalp. I just get random parts in my scalp and put a whole load of oil, and what will happen is it will drip downwards anyway, um, and then I will massage it using the pads of my fingers. Um, if there's anywhere in my hair that I feel is still dry, I will go ahead and add a little bit more oil, like so. And then I am massaging all of that in. I'm very generous with my oils since I'm going to go ahead and do the greenhouse effect method. Um, you can massage for as long as you want. It really feels good and it's good for your hair and your scalp um, cir circulation. Um, so I massage for about 10 minutes. And there I am showing you a mini length check. So um, I'm making sure to saturate the ends of my hair because they're obviously the oldest part of my hair. And I'm squeezing the water in with my hands, being careful not to mess up my style since it is um, semi long term protective style. And as you can see, my hair is already starting to shrink up. So there I am um, oiling my hair itself and I'm squeezing that in, paying special attention to my ends to seal in that moisture. And my oils is a mixture of almond, jojoba or jojoba um, and castor oil. Okay, so you can go ahead and put a plastic bag on your head at this point. Or um, in my case, I'm going to go ahead and do my protective style. Okay, so I've chosen to do two um, French braids. Um, some people call this a princess braid. 
And this um, style takes literally five to 10 minutes. It's very quick, very effective, and it can last a long time. As you see, I'm being very gentle on my edges, being careful not to tug on them as I am trying my best to grow my edges again. And I'm braiding that all the way towards the end. Okay, um, if you notice any bumps or anywhere you're not happy with, I am going ahead and putting a bobby pin. You can do the same. So for the next side, I'm doing the same thing. Um, the braid is going in a different direction. And like I said, this style is very quick. It took me about five to 10 minutes to do. Okay, and I'm just pinning those up and I notice I've left a little braid out so I just go ahead and pin that up. So annoying when that happens. Okay, so just to neaten up my edges, um, I'm going to use my very soft bristle brush and I'm using my fingers to pull the hair back and then using the brush as well. Just for a neater look. And I'm doing the same for my nape area, which is very coily. So at this point, I'm getting my plastic bag, putting that on my hair. You can leave that on for um, several hours or you can go to bed with it. Um, what I normally do is I will leave that on overnight. And if I'm not going out the next day, I'll leave that in again. Um, yes, it works to moisturise your scalp and yeah anyway thanks for watching if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask and please go ahead and rate comment and subscribe thank you so much for watching bye